What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy, Goblin, and today we're coming in with another hoot and a holler of a video. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Thanksgiving, man. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like if you guys do enjoy and subscribe as well. And also, don't forget to check out the new holiday merch at Goblin420.com. Before we hop into the video, let's take a moment for our sponsor. This video is sponsored by MyBookie. This year, Turkey Day at MyBookie gives you plenty of reasons to be thankful, starting with a $250 risk-free bet on Thursday afternoon with the Cowboys versus the Raiders. Before you wager in, set yourself up for success by doubling your first deposit when using code GOBLIN at MyBookie. That's code GOBLIN to double your initial deposit all the way up to $1,000, so you don't have to break the wishbone to come out ahead. Feast risk-free on Turkey Day with MyBookie and make sure to stick around for seconds. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with MyBookie. Big shout out to them for sponsoring the video. Now let's dive right into it. So this happened to me literally yesterday. And, you know, I, I wasn't going to make a video at first about this, but the longer I've sat and thought about it, the more pissed off I've gotten. So you know what? I'm making the damn video. Now, this took place as I just stated yesterday. To give you guys a little bit of context, this is the first time in a few years that I'm actually attending my family Thanksgiving. So, I planned to rent a car and drive up for Thanksgiving. The reason that I didn't drive my own car up is because my tags are expired and Illinois highways are infested with state troopers. I'm not doing that shit again. I'm not getting pulled over again. I'm not folding. So, I opted to just rent like a really cheap, shitty little car. So I booked weeks in advance. I'm talking, I booked so long ago, this shit was made in October, boys. So I, I booked this rental for this car. I pay cash up front to get a better deal. And now I'm all set. You know, I've got my card on file and I figure, okay, day's gonna come, you know, the 23rd, I'll go pick up my car and we'll be on our fucking way. So the 23rd rolls around, aka yesterday. And I go pull up to the car rental place, which was Hertz. Now listen, Big fuck you to Hertz for this one, okay? But I go inside of Hertz. Mind you, I booked this months in advance. Now, all right, not months. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. A month in advance, right? I go inside, and they won't give me the car. Now, normally that's like, okay, whatever. You're kind of an asshole. But it's especially a problem today for two reasons. A, because I need to get the fuck up for Thanksgiving, it's in two days, and B, every car place in town is out of cars because it is the day before, or two days before Thanksgiving. So I go into Hertz, and it turns out that they rented out more than they even fucking had. So some people, I apparently, my understanding of it is some people didn't return their cars on time. They had a backlog. I don't know how they're allowed to even do this shit. But either way, I guess they reserve more than they really had. So now I have to call Hertz to get my money back, which I still have yet to do. So I'm pissed, and I'm now kind of starting to freak out a little bit. Because I'm realizing that I have no way to make it up to my family Thanksgiving reliably. Like, yeah, worst comes to worst, I could drive my car. But Illinois State Troopers get a fucking hard on if they see a tag that is 10 seconds expired. So there's no chance in hell I am taking any expired tags on the highway. Especially when cops like to search my car because I always smell like weed. Not fucking happening, you know? So... I'm with Cody because I, I had Cody ride with me to the rental place, assuming that he would have to drive my car back home for me. So now Cody and I are sitting in my car and we're trying to figure out what the fuck to do. We're on Google, we're looking up car rental places, and we just start driving, right? We go over to this Enterprise Rent-A-Car that was maybe like 10, 15 minutes away. They're completely out of cars. Super nice lady behind the counter was nice enough to call the other Enterprise for me in town, which also told me that they had no cars. So I go back out to my car, and I'm sitting in it with Cody, and I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, I can't drive my car up. Like, I'm gonna get nailed. Like, I drive it around town with expired tags, sure, but that's different. Driving on the E-Way, they don't give a fuck, bro. If you have expired tags, they'll probably tase you for it, dude. Like, they don't fucking care. So they're state troopers, dude. So I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to figure out a plan. I'm calling all the car rental places I can find in town, and every single one, I shit you not, is sold out of cars. Which, I mean, it's Thanksgiving, I get it, but like, come on, dude. So, I get an idea. A last-ditch resort. A last-ditch effort. 
I get the idea of getting a U-Haul. Now, this is not the ideal scenario for me to be in for a number of reasons. A, because I've never driven a vehicle that big before. Like, I've driven an SUV a few times, but I've never really owned one. I, the SUV I drove the most was like a Honda CRV, and here I am about to rent damn near a box truck, you know? So I pull up to this U-Haul, and this is after calling every other place in town. They don't have shit. I pull up to this U-Haul, and I go inside. And at this point, I'm just trying to smoke, dude. I'm trying to get a reservation down so I can go smoke and chill out. Because I'm getting a little anxious. I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, I don't know how I'm going to make it up for Thanksgiving. So I'm chilling in this U-Haul, and I'm waiting in line. And finally, it's my turn, and I ask if they have anything to rent at all. I ask if they have any pickup trucks to start, and they're like, no, we're out of pickups. And the lady tells me some crazy shit about how some guy apparently set one on fire, and that's why they're out of them. I don't know, some tweaker shit, dude. Some, like, real authentic meth smoker shit, you know? So... I ask for the next smallest thing they have because I'm not trying to drive a goddamn box truck. And I end up with a cargo van. A 2021 Ford Transit. Now, upon hearing that, a lot of you guys are probably like, okay, not bad, you know, like, whatever. It, it gets a lot worse. I don't know how you can manage to fuck up a car in such a short amount of time because this car, I still have it right now. I'm driving it back home too. But this car has only 12,000 miles on it. Yet, for some reason, it already has that death rattle. For those of you guys, I, I don't know, like, what kind of cars do. I know Fords do this a lot. It's a common thing in trucks. But there's this thing in some bigger cars where if you're on the highway and you're going a certain speed, the fucking wheel will just start shaking like shit. This Ford Transit only has 12K miles on it, and it had the death rattle. But we're not even at that part yet, because it gets even worse. From the get-go, I book my cargo van, and I get the last cargo van available, right? Thank fuck. I came at the perfect time. So they, they needed a little bit of time to get my van ready. I guess they needed, like, a manager to come in and do something to it or whatever. So I leave out of there and go back home with Cody, and we smoke up a little bit. We come back maybe an hour later, which is when they told me to come back. And the lady behind the counter is like, oh, yeah, you know, like, let me go get your van. So she goes and she gets my van and she comes back inside and hands me the keys. And she's like, here, let me show you the car. So I go out and I'm like, OK, you know, it's a fucking van, like whatever, no biggie. She mentions to me, she says, oh, our air compressor's broken and the front left is almost flat. So you're going to have to throw some air in that thing. Now, I'm already, I'm just like, okay, dude, this is the most scuffed U-Haul ever. But I get in, and it's actually, it's got Bluetooth. It's got Bluetooth. That's the only thing that I can say to praise this vehicle. So I get inside, and this car is fucked. Like, the... I, it's so hard to put into words how fucked it is. Because it's not like it's rusty. It, it's not like there's stuff falling apart. It's just filthy, and it looks like I put 15 tweakers in there and made them fight over a bag of meth. It looks like a fucking Royal Rumble happened in this car. Like, shit's all scratched up, the bumpers are all fucked, the dashboard is all scraped up, the, the display, and it's got 12,000 miles on it. I'm sitting here, I'm like, dude, what is going on? But either way, I've now got to get to the gas station and put some fucking air in this thing. So I drive over to the gas station, I throw some air in the tires myself. And then I drive to the dispensary before I start my drive up north to visit my parents, or visit my mom, I should say, because this thing was completely empty. Now, I don't know, maybe I just, I, I'm a little spoiled, I don't know, but I, I figured they'd at least include some gas in this thing when I rented it, but no. I shit you not, the tank was like already on reserve fuel when I got it. So I went to the gas station, the dispo, and then I went back to the gas station and filled the tank because for some reason I was so stupid that I only filled the air at the gas station the first time and not the gas. I didn't really think that far ahead. I don't think I noticed the gas tank until I was at the dispo to be fair. But either way, a hectic fucking day. So I finally get all that out of the way. I go to the dispo and I bought some pre-rolls for my drive up because at this point I was running late, right? I still had to get some work done later. I was running late. I had to make a video. So I was like, yo, I don't even have time to stop and roll a blunt. Like I got to buy a fucking pre-roll. So I bought two or three pre-rolls. I think I bought three. I still have one left. I only smoked two and I hit the fucking road. 
I got a full tank of gas, and mind you, this thing costs nearly $100 to fill up. The gas tank is huge. The only lucky thing about it is it takes regular unleaded, not premium. If it took premium, I probably would have cried, because that shit would have cost over $100 to fill. But either way, I get on the highway now. And I'm driving my damn transit van. I've got all my all my shit packed up. I've got my computer. I've got my fucking clothes. And I'm riding on the highway. And I spark up my first joint. It is infested with state troopers. Honest to God, I think renting a U-Haul was one of the smartest decisions I ever made. Because I don't think I've ever seen more state troopers on the highway in my goddamn life. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving, so it makes sense they're there. But still, holy motherfuck, they were everywhere. I'm driving up the highway, and I've got my joint lit, and between every single little gap where the cops could be posted, I'm trying to, like, hold my joint low, but I also don't want to roll down the window because I'm on the highway. Now, I'm about 20 or 30 minutes into my about three-and-a-half-hour drive at this point, and the death rattle starts happening. I've never experienced this in a car before, and it honestly scared the fuck out of me. I almost pulled over. But I'm driving, and I'm not even going that fast. I'm going like 75, maybe 80. And all of a sudden, the steering wheel just starts shaking like shit. And at first, I thought I was like driving over those little bumps on the shoulder. I was like, oh, I, am I going out of the lane? Like, oh shit, I'm, I must be fucking stoned out of my mind. You know, like, what? I guess this weed's fire. But no, I was dead. I was just fine. I was perfectly in the lane. This fucking van... I couldn't quite pinpoint what caused it because at some points I could go fast and it would be fine, and then at other points the dashboard would feel like it had a frag grenade inside of it. It was insanity, but I'm scared shitless at this point, so I slow down to like 65 or 70 for the rest of the ride up. At some points even down to 60 when the rattling got bad. Now, this never happened before I got on the highway, so I I'd never thought about it, right? I wasn't concerned about it. But... I'm on the highway and it's finally fucking happening. The death rattle. And I, I see my impending doom. I have I almost have a little like flash of light kind of fucking moment, right? So I'm slowing down and I, I finish off my first joint and I'm pretty ripped. And everyone on the highway is bullying me for being in a U-Haul. Now, I'm going as fast as everyone else. But for some reason, because I'm in a U-Haul, everyone else on the highway is riding my ass, fucking cutting me off, getting around me. They're treating me like an idiot. They're treating me like I'm in a semi-truck. I'm not. It's a Ford Transit, you ass. I'm just like you guys. I'm going just as fast as everyone else. But they were straight up harassing me on the highway, bro. I Like, like actual real-life bullying my Ford Transit, dude. I'm just trying to make it to my family. And these people are riding my ass. You got the dudes in the lifted pickup trucks with the LED lights fucking riding my dick the whole time. Just a terrible, terrible experience. So after my first traumatizing death rattle experience, I'm like, yeah, I need, I need to spark another fucking joint, dude. So I spark up that second joint. And I'm smoking that thing. And... At this point, I'm kind of getting used to the death rattle and realizing that it's not going to make me crash. It's just scary. And if it does make me crash, whatever. I went out in style. I was in a fucking U-Haul. Who cares? But I'm whipping this shitty little U-Haul and I spark up my second joint. And I'm looking in my rear view and it's really difficult to notice like where people are around you in this car because the rear view the view through it is almost entirely blocked by this fucking cage they have set up. I don't know why they have this, but the door, like, doesn't open, and you could definitely kidnap someone in this van, right? I, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll go kidnap someone, but you can't see shit out of the back. You have to rely on the rear views, but there's such a giant blind spot that it's crazy. So I'm smoking this joint, and for a while, I don't even notice that there's a cop behind me. He's unmarked, but I still know it's a cop because he's got that plate. He's got that fucking license plate where it's like three fucking letters, dude. It's like a letter and two numbers. Dude's got like an OG gamer tag for his fucking license plate. Like, congratulations, your cock is small, dude. Fuck you, you know? So, he's riding my ass, and I'm like, oh shit, dude. So, I start fucking putting my joint down, and I'm getting ready to ash it. And my luck just gets even worse. I ash on the fucking ground, and I realize that my bag I had sitting on the ground was open, just in between the seats, and I'm ashing in my fucking bag. I don't notice it at first until later when I went to reach in there and grab something, and I'm like, wait, I pulled my fingers out, and they're fucking dirty, and I'm like, dude, 
I just ashed up my goddamn bag, my High Times bag, one of my favorite bags, so I'm fucking pissed. Eventually, this cop gets around me, thank God he didn't pull me over, but granted, I didn't have anything super illegal, I guess, kind of really-ish on me. Eh, you know, eh, eh, we'll leave it at that, but... I finally get the fuck off the highway and get done with the death rattle, and now I'm I'm a little more chill. I'm like, okay, we're feeling good, you know, we're off the highway and we're gonna make it. So I get to my mom's house after this long ass fucking day, and now I'm sitting here recording this at my mom's house with a Ford Transit. I have to go pick up all my friends in the U-Haul. I have to hang out with all my friends in the U-Haul. Granted, I do have a lot of space to ball on Black Friday, but... Now that I have this U-Haul, I think I'm going to make use of it and probably record like a hotboxing the U-Haul video. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, gamers.